Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little like two, three in one video for you guys. I'm going to be testing and reviewing and trying out as well as throwing in a workout for you guys because this is a workout type of channel um, about the Elf Active workout, you know, stuff. I think these will work well for me or work out, you know, well for my test. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys, you know, what I do for makeup if and when I do wear makeup when I work out or when I go to the gym. If you guys don't know, I am a personal trainer. I work in a gym, a gym all day long. I get a sweat. I don't get a full on sweat like you may when you do a full workout, but I do get a really good sweat because I am showing exercises and workouts, moving around, you know, yada, yada, yada. I get a little sweat glisten going on, which is fine, but by the end of the day, I do not look very cute. You know, I kind of look a little worn out. So I thought I would go ahead and pick this up. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, that was a long intro, but if you guys are ready, then let's just go ahead and get into the little tutorial and start up the video. But first, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I picked up. So this first one is the Elf Active Workout Ready Waterproof Eye Pencil. I think this is really good. I love my eyes. Um, as you can see, I got some nice bags under here. I wake up early one of the days that do work, and when I don't, I'm still waking up early for the little puppy dog that is laying next to me. So things like this, I love wearing um, eyeliner and mascara to really help out with my eyes and then I have the elf active post workout cool down mist I think this is great I think this would be good to kind of just refresh my face and take this out with me um, this is the elf active workout ready hydration stick so I'm not really sure what this one is for and then all I have left is the sweat resistant mask mascara and brow duo and then another item is the elf active stay out and play SPF 50. So I'm assuming this is just sunscreen. Yes, so it's just for sunscreen use. So this isn't going to be too much of a big deal for me because I am indoors, but people that like taking your workouts outside, maybe this will be good. I'm going to try this out anyways and see how it works. I'm not really sure what we're going to do today, but we're going to just kind of dabble in everything. Really, I am most excited for the cool down mist and the, where is it? workout ready hydration stick. Go ahead and try to kind of show you guys what I do. So I already have a clean face. I'm just gonna kind of throw my hair up behind my head. I'll put in a little disclaimer here. I am not a makeup person, makeup artist, makeup guru, anything by any means, literally at all. But I wanna look good sometimes. Not so much when I go to the gym or go to workout. If you guys know, I work out mostly at home. But if I have somewhere to go right after I work out, or if I'm at work and I'm just getting a little gross, this is why I'm trying this out. So this one, the Stay Out Play um, SPF 50, actually has a sheer tint, it says right here, has a sheer tint. So let's just kinda, okay, well. So I'm assuming the sheer tint is supposed to kinda help with most skin types. Seems a little white, but I guess when you think about it, most SPFs are white anyways. If you guys can tell. I don't know if you guys can tell. I do have a little bit of redness throughout here, and I'm kind of going through some breakouts. It's fine so far. There is a little bit of a tint. I definitely can see it. Um, and it does cover the redness just a little bit. We're going to try a little bit more on the nose, because that is something that does get a little more red for me. And then we'll kind of test out the the tint too. Okay, so the tint definitely works a little bit. I wouldn't say it's amazing. I think this was only a few dollars, this one. So, nothing crazy there. Next, I am going to do the brows. That is something that I always do first on myself, is the brows. Um, so, what I use for my eyebrows is literally just eyeshadow. I take my Smashbox Shape Matters palette and take the brown eyeshadow in there. It's just the color that works best with my skin, but that's what I'm gonna use. And then I'll just use the mascara stick um, because this one is sweat resistant mascara and brow duo stick. It has the clear gel on it. Looks a little something like this. So then I'll swipe that over it. So again, I'm not showing you guys like a full blown makeup tutorial. What my point is, I'm just gonna show you how I use this so you can kind of see that before and then what I do after. Just add a little bit of color right there. And then the sweat resistant clear brow gel. So we're gonna take this. It is so tiny, do you guys see that? How stinking cute. 
Next for my eyes, I am going to take a little bit of concealer on my under eyes and go ahead and, you know, just brighten up my look. My face isn't feeling like cakey, but it definitely feels like there's something on it. So I'm going to take my um, Superstay Better Skin under eye concealer and just like one swipe, one swipe. And then I have been recently putting a little bit on my eyelids and doing such. I just use my finger. I think it blends very well. I also don't blend very well, period. So that is all we're gonna do for that. And then I have been using and loving the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Lace. So we're just gonna take that right there. And again, I just take under my eye with my finger. And I'll just take, guess what, an e.l.f. brush. This is the small stipple brush. And just kind of take whatever's left and just Make sure it's all in there. Okay, so that is gonna be all for the eyes. Actually, I think I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer just to my eyelids to add a little bit of definition. So I'm taking the bronzer from the Smashbox Shape Smash palette, because this thing has everything and more in it. So, so far it's very light, as in like, it won't make your lashes thicker. It's just separating them very well and making them nice and long. Can you guys tell? So this is with a few coats on right there. Not bad. Subtle, but good. It's not a thickening mascara by any means. It's just very light and kind of spreads them apart and just adds a little bit of length. But again, you're not really looking for anything too crazy, so this might be the perfect thing for you. To be adding on is the Workout Ready Waterproof Eye Pencil. Okay, let's try this. And then to my bottom, um, it seemed easier to apply to the top liner than the bottom liner. Um, but once I got it kind of moving, it went on pretty easily. You cannot get about our face cream. I use the Maybelline BB Fresh BB Cream. Um, just going to use it with our fingers. Again, we're not going for anything too, too crazy here. So we already have a little bit of, you know, what is this called? Concealer? We'll come back out. We'll come back here after our workout and trust test out our hydrating spray, post-workout cool down mist, and our hydrating stick. So catch you guys in a few minutes. I hope you enjoy the workout. protein in because I don't know if you guys can tell the glistening but I got a good sweat so to final up this video to finish up this video we're gonna be testing out the post-workout cool down mist and then the hydrating so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this first I did take a paper towel and kind of down my face but I'm still still sweating I sweat for a while after I work out so I'm just gonna go ahead and spritz this on that I felt cakey. Um, I just think because I'm not super used to working out with makeup, 
um, I definitely felt it on, but it by all means did not feel cakey, it didn't feel thick. Um, when I started to sweat, I definitely got a little red, and I was looking at myself in the mirror, and I felt like my face looked a little funny because my face was really red, but then I had like that sheer and the BB cream tint on, so it kind of looked funny, but I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is some redness up here, a little bit right here, some glistening. Um, I would say that... I think I would say the eyeliner did fantastic. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's barely smudged. The fact that it isn't on my skin is crazy. Can give the Workout Ready Waterproof Eye Pencil an A plus because so far it's done great. Um, again, the mascara really, really well. It didn't sweat at all. Um, even when I put on my normal mascara, and I'm out, Texas heat is really hot, I will definitely feel like it's running down my eyes a little bit. So again, I'm gonna give the mascara an A plus. Now for the eyebrow gel, I'm gonna give it a, a B. The mascara and the eyeliner, definitely a good feel. I don't know if you're supposed to wipe the makeup off or like wipe your face off and then put this on, but then that would kind of get rid of that sheer tint from the sunscreen and if you put any face makeup on. So we're just gonna go with what we got because to be honest, I have no idea what we're supposed to do with this. It didn't say. So I'm just gonna take this. So after it's sitting for a second, I definitely, definitely feel the hydration part, 100%. I can feel it. Um, it wiped off a little, but yeah. So that is gonna be my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too crazy. I hope you enjoyed the workout. It was a really good one. Um, I like the way my face looks. I feel like this could be like a run out five minute quick easy look. But in like Texas heat, this would probably all be really, really good because it's so hot out. So it definitely keeps you cooling. Um, the hydration mix, myth, hydration stick so far, I'm gonna give it a B, maybe a B minus. Um, the hydrating, definitely feel it. The point of it, I don't understand. So I'm definitely gonna keep trying these out, but all of this stuff was under $10. I will link everything listed down below. Let me know if you guys have tried this brand, the Elf Post Pre-Workout brand, or the Clinique Fit brand, and what you guys think of it all as well. Everything for me is a definite go, kind of giving an if on these two things, but that's what testing it out is for. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye guys. I was like, hey.